Romeo, Romeo, the MGTOW cat. And I know a lot of people are watching right now saying, MGTOW cat, what the hell are you talking about? Well, watch and you'll see. This story, it ties in. It's got a very solid point. And it's a true story. It just, it just happened, as a matter of fact. And I know that there's a lot of MGTOWs that watch this channel because they empathize with a lot of the things that I talk about. When I talk about family court, I talk about custody issues and other things like that, incidences with exes. A lot of guys have been through a lot of the same mess and worse. So, oh, the other thing is also, because I even have the audacity to say MGTOW in the title, odds are YouTube is going to nail this video like they've been nailing a bunch of them. Because I, I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't seen it, if you, if you haven't, please check it out. But if you haven't seen it, I talk about how in the last video that YouTube with their new um, ad policy has been slamming the crap out of me. And it's not even, you know, for one thing, all I talk about is my own personal accounts, my own story of my life kind of thing here. For the most part, there's nothing controversial. There's nothing sexually explicit. There's no excessive foul language on this channel. So I'm like, what is your problem? Their algorithm is just... Um, tormenting me here a little bit they've messed up like 25 percent of my videos and it's not even so much about the uh about the ad income because really don't make any money i don't have like a million subscribers and every video i put out gets like 10 million views i'm not making any real money it's the principle of the thing number one and number two the fact that every every time they do that to a video you go to the bottom of the queue so when people are searching they're not going to see your video so please share the hell out of this video because this story is a good one. Now, I mentioned before in a in a video some time ago that on my phone I have this thing that I do where to earn extra income, to supplement income, I go around and I do these uh, scanning apps for gift cards. It helps out. And one of them put me in a PetSmart. So I'm in PetSmart and there's Romeo because they do pet adoptions there. And I was checking him out and I was like, you know what? I think I want to see this cat because I liked him. He's barely a year old. Big boy too. He's heavy. But I went in there and the woman that was there is an older lady. She's a volunteer. And she was like, oh, you know, who did you want to see? And I was like, yeah, I want to check out Romeo. So she brings Romeo out and he is freaking amazing. He is the friendliest cat I've ever seen. He's friendly. He's well-mannered. He's well-tempered. Um, he's happy, right? It's my vintage Fire King Exxon <laughs> a little coffee mug back when a cup of coffee was this big. Remember those days? Anyways, he's a great cat. And I, so I asked her, I was like, you know, I got to say, um, what's wrong with him? Why is he here? What happened? And she was like, well, actually, it's kind of a sad story. And I'm like, okay, you know, what is it? And she says, well, there's this couple getting a divorce. Here it comes, right? There's this couple getting a divorce. And so the cat was bought by the husband when he was like well, however old eight nine weeks old ten weeks you know when they first start giving the kittens away when they're old enough to be weaned off of the mother so he got this as a kitten and he got it primarily for the kids he has two kids i think she said they were like five and eight or something like that but two boys so he gets this cat for the kids to keep them company which is probably why his temperament is so good because uh you've got to have a pretty good temperament to tolerate being manhandled by a couple of kids but now they're going through the process of a divorce and at some point dude got put out and i empathize with that because i went through that in 2003 when i went to work and got served and couldn't go home so dude gets put out and then she says I want the cat out of the house because he reminds me of you. Bullshit. And he, she just wanted to mess with the guy. So he's out of the house. Wherever he is, he can't get the cat. 
and she gets sick of waiting on him to pick up the cat and do something with it. So she brings him to the shelter and turns him in. And I was like, wow. So basically she gave the cat up to the shelter to be vindictive against her husband because she's pissed off. And the, uh, the volunteer lady, she was like, I can't remember her name. Sorry. <laughs> but the volunteer was like, um, yeah, I mean, that this, there's no denying it. That's exactly what happened. And I was like, wow, that is awful. And she was like, it is awful. It's awful to do that to him. Awful to do it to the cat and worse for the poor kids. They were so upset. And I was like, wait a minute, the kids were there. And she was like, yeah, she brought the, 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 the little boys with them and they were crying and they didn't want to give the cat up. And I was like, yeah, I bet they didn't. I was like, wow, you just stepped out of vindictive and right into evil. That is awful. And she was like, it is. And he's such a great animal. I hate seeing that happen to him. And so, you know, I'm sure, and some of you might be sitting here wondering, why would she bring the kids? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> For those of you who have not been through this kind of crap with an ex, I'm going to explain it. Number one, obviously she gave the cat away to piss off her soon-to-be ex-husband. Because he's going to get mad when he finds out that cat's gone. Number two, she brought the kids there because now, because eventually he's going to see his kids again, right? And what are they going to do? Daddy, daddy, she gave the cat away and we didn't want her to and he looks so sad. And so now he's going to have to absorb that. He's going to have to be the sin eater and absorb their pain. And also it emasculates him just that much more because he couldn't be there to help them sort it out. He couldn't save them by saving the cat, right? And the other hook, the really dirty hook, she brought the kids there to show them who the boss was. She's going to do what she wants to do. No matter who says what, I said the cat's going. I don't care what your father wants. Watch. I promise you. I've seen it too many times. And that puts that little shock of fear into those little kids. And lets them know who's in control. Let's them know who the boss is. And you know what the worst part about that is? Right? Try telling it to the judge. Try it. Try bringing that up in court. Uh, yeah, can we stick to something a little more pertinent than a cat? Please stop wasting the court's time. Bring it up to the case manager or a social worker. If there's one involved, odds are there's going to be a case manager or a conciliator. Uh, maybe a social worker. Depends on the situation with the kids. But And you'll tell them, right? Husband will tell them. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, that was awful. I totally understand. And they're not going to tell the judge because they don't care. They just tell you what they think you want to hear to shut you up. Nobody there is either qualified or even interested in considering the psychology behind doing that. What a dirty move that was. And that's probably the worst part. Because unfortunately, in many cases, when you're dealing with court, impartiality means we don't give a shit about any of you. Bottom line. And she'll end up with the kids. And she's the mean one. <laughs> but anyway, I've got Romeo. Uh, yeah, I've got Romeo now. Um, had him for almost a month. And he's a sweetheart. He is a great house pet. He's a great cat. Um, doesn't tear the place up. Really super friendly, happy all the time. Very playful. I'm happy with him. So I hope that they know that he ended up in a good place and didn't get incinerated in some shelter somewhere because that does happen a lot anyway as I was saying um, it's kind of a pertinent story about how just nasty people are so please share the hell out of it because YouTube sure is going to throw me to the bottom of the pile like I said for having the audacity to put MGTOW in the title <laughs>